Julie Thompson, a low-risk maternity doctor at the Riley Park Maternity Clinic. And I'm Andrea Croker, a registered dietitian with the Calgary Foothills Primary Care Network. Today we're talking about the increased need for iron-rich foods and supplements in pregnancy. In many ways, a pregnant woman's daily re requirements are much the same as anyone else's, but there are some exceptions and iron is one of them. A pregnant woman can only consume enough iron by significantly changing the way she eats to include more iron-rich foods and taking an iron supplement. That's because pregnant women need two times more iron than anyone who is not pregnant, up from about 18 milligrams a day to 27 milligrams. Over the course of your pregnancy, you will produce an extra liter of blood. Your body needs the extra iron to produce red blood cells for the mother and extra iron to produce the baby's blood cells and form the placenta. Unfortunately, as many as half of all pregnant women do not get enough iron in their diet. That's why doctors recommend you start taking a daily prenatal vitamin which contains about 16 to 20 milligrams of iron and continue to take it during your pregnancy. It's also important to include many iron-rich foods in pregnancy. Meat sources such as beef, chicken, pork, fish, all contain heme iron which is well absorbed by the body. Lentils, beans, legumes are a good meat alternative which contain non-heme non iron and is not as well absorbed. If you follow more of a vegetarian diet, it is important to consume these foods with vitamin C such as a grapefruit or orange to increase absorption. At lunch and dinner, try to fill a quarter of your plate with one of these iron-rich sources. You may also try some iron-rich snacks, such as hummus and vegetables, hummus and crackers, or an iron-rich breakfast, which could contain an egg and spinach omelet with berries and toast, or oatmeal that is iron-enriched. A lack of iron in your diet can leave you feeling fatigued lower your resistance to infection, and lead to cardiovascular stress. There are also more serious complications. As your pregnancy progresses, your doctor will check your iron stores and your blood count at around 26 weeks to see if you have iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia is a serious condition that can cause your baby to be born too early or too small. If that happens, your doctor may also recommend an iron supplement to correct your anemia. But it's best to adapt your eating habits early to include a high number of iron-rich food sources so you can give yourself and your baby the healthiest pregnancy possible.